Thanks for accepting our interview. Uh, first of all, this is the first such kind of high-profile forum held on a poverty reduction between China and Africa. Mm. Uh, what have you gained from this forum? Uh, well, uh, 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 this is in indeed a very important conversation that we have been having here. Uh, uh, in, in Addis Ababa, the headquarters of the African Union. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as you know, uh, Africa is a continent uh, that is uh, that has got a great potential in terms of uh, you know uh, uh, natural resources that our countries uh, you know possess. Uh, and and yet uh, you know uh, uh, in the midst of, of uh, you know all these natural resources, uh, we, we we face uh, you know a major challenge in terms mm -hmm. of uh, you know uh, uh, poverty. Uh, amongst uh, you know our our our, our people, mm -hmm. um, so uh, one thing that that I've uh, picked uh, you know from from this uh, from this uh, uh, forum is uh, uh, you know the sharing of experiences uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, bet between China and Africa, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know the the uh, uh, the initiatives uh, you know that Africa uh, uh, China has uh, put in place uh, in order to fight uh, you know poverty mm -hmm. uh, uh, providing uh, one of the biggest examples uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, you know how to uh, move a large uh, a proportion of the population out of poverty 700 million uh, 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 you know people out of poverty in a period of uh, you know uh, four, four decades or so um, uh, that is uh, you know a, a huge achievement and, and there is something there, you know, for our African countries, you know, to learn in terms of, uh, you know, what they can do to uh, bring the majority of our people out of poverty. So you think the model of uh, China's uh, poverty reduction can serve as a general template for African poverty reduction? Uh, it, uh, uh, it provides, uh, you know, very good lessons mm -hmm. of how that, that can be done. And of course, there are a number of similarities between uh, China and Africa. Uh, but but uh, uh, even uh, more important, I think uh, um, uh, what is important for, for, for our African countries is to understand our own conditions and, and apply these lessons to our own con unique conditions so that we come up with uh, you know, measures uh, uh, that are relevant uh, to our specific uh, you know, circumstances. Yeah. So what are your suggestions for the next forum then? Well, I, I, I think, I think uh, you know, uh, one thing that I've uh, 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 picked up from this conversation is that there hasn't really been, you know, sufficient time to articulate all the, you know, um, pertinent issues. In, in terms of, uh, you know, the experiences from each, from each country, uh, we're talking here about China being one country and Africa being, uh, you know, a continent of, uh, you know, 55 countries. So there wasn't enough time, you know, to give uh, uh, specific attention to, mm -hmm. to each of these, uh, the, these, uh, these uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, member, member states of the African Union. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, there is still great scope to continue this conversation mm -hmm. uh, so that we can learn more in terms of uh, the specific experiences mm -hmm. of the uh, African countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is Zimbabwe's economy doing now? Um, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a country that is uh, obviously uh, uh, going through a number of uh, you know, challenges, yes. um, uh, but there's uh, you know, huge potential, mm -hmm. huge potential, uh, particularly um, um, uh, uh, at the level of uh, you know, uh, bringing, uh, by promoting uh, uh, the development of uh, small uh, uh, to medium uh, scale enter right. enterprises. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and this is uh, you know, one area that, uh, that China has done extremely well in terms of, uh, you know, um, uh, propelling its development um, uh, on the basis of, uh, you know, promoting the development of uh, the SMEC, uh, uh, small, uh, small to medium enterprises, uh, you know, sector. Um, uh, uh, Zimbabwe has got more than 90% of the enterprises in Zimbabwe are actually, you know, small to medium enterprises. Um, uh, but one of the challenges is that we don't have enough information about you know these uh, small scale enterprises why because they uh, you know exist in the informal sector and by informal sector you mean this this is the the sector of the economy uh, you know where uh, enterprises operate without registration without licenses so you know without uh, all those uh, you know formalities uh, uh, so there's, there's a you know, big potential there for government to undertake an exercise to understand uh, you know, uh, the nature mm -hmm. 
uh, of, of, of uh, you know, this, this, uh, the, the informal sector, particularly as it relates to these SMEs. In terms of uh, SME, de uh, SME development, what, what do you want to learn from China? Um, the, the first thing is, you know, um, uh, uh, getting to understand the special characteristics of those S SMEs. I think China has done very well. Uh, if I remember well, there was an exercise that was done in 2003 to understand better the SMEs uh, sector in China. Uh, uh, I think the same exercise was repeated in t uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, to again to to understand, you know, um, uh, the special characteristics of the the the, the SMEs uh, um, uh, in China, mm -hmm. and and. Now, uh, you know, f uh, following that with uh, uh, measures, I mean, uh, you know, legislative, uh, you know, um, uh, re reforms, policies that respond now to the special needs of those SMEs. I think that is something that we can learn, uh, you know, from China in that, in that aspect. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Yu. Thank, Thank you very much for your insight. Thank you.